Let's talk about how to be a working pro photographer. When I started my professional photography career at 20 years old, I had little more than a passion for making pictures and a determination to succeed. For over three decades, I've been a working pro. It's kind of mental when I think about it. I've been coaching photographers the entire time. After I dropped out of photography school, I got a studio. I started working. In my third year of business, I was invited back to the university that I dropped out of to lecture to the next generation of pros. I've always helped my assistants transition to working pros. It usually takes about two years. Over the lockdown, when work kind of really slowed down, I started building out this YouTube channel by helping new photographers with my content and my photo reviews. Last year, my channel really started getting traction and I was asked if I did online coaching. So I took on a few and I helped them build up their businesses. I strongly believe in coaching. I actually have three coaches myself. I have a business coach, a creative coach, and a marketing coach. This past winter, during one of our our retreats, I shared this brilliant idea I had about building out my coaching program. My marketing coach had one very valid question. How? How do you help photographers make a living with their camera? How do you actually do it? He kind of stumped me on that one, I can't lie. I'd never really mapped out how I help emerging and struggling photographers. I just did. It just worked. That weekend really forced me to go back to the drawing board and map out the way that I develop photographers for the first time. I've refined my coaching approach and developed now what I call the Cardi Method. It's a structured system for helping emerging and struggling photographers transition into high demand working pros. If that sounds like you, sounds like something you're interested in, let's get into how we can turn your love for photography into a thriving career following these six phases of the Cardi method. Phase one, your work and a market for that work. When I began, I focused on honing my skills and finding my unique style in photography. I knew I wanted to be a fashion shooter, so it's crucial to identify what kind of work you love to make, but more importantly, who might need that work. Explore all kinds of niches, portraits, weddings, commercial, product photography, and understand where there's a demand within your market. This phase is about mastering your craft and recognizing the value that your style and expertise could bring. Phase two, the packaging. Back in the early days, I didn't have the luxury of digital portfolios or social media. I'm old. When I started, there was no internet. But today, there's powerful tools at your disposal. Your portfolio, your website, your social media presence, and your personal branding are all part of your packaging. You're the most important part of this package. All of this together tells your story and showcases your work to potential clients. So make sure your portfolio highlights your best work, that your website's professional and user-friendly, and your social media reflects your brand's voice and your vision. Don't forget to care enough about yourself to be presentable to potential clients. That includes maybe shopping more than once every five years. If your website's great and your work's great, but you don't look the part, you're not gonna get work. Phase three, creating a value-based photography business. One of the most critical lessons I've learned in my career was to understand the value of my work. This phase involves creating a business model that reflects the worth of your services. You really do need to understand industry standards when it comes to pricing. You don't charge by the hour, always charge by the project, and it's important to establish your pricing strategy. And if you're stuck, by the way, download my free pricing guide in the video description. Clear Clearly define your services and ensure that you're delivering value that meets or exceeds your client's expectations. It's not just about the pictures you make, but about the experience you provide and the problems that you solve for your potential clients. And by the way, set up your business so you're running it like a business, create a corporation or an LLC and get an accountant so you're not leaving money on the table or paying extra taxes because you're a sole proprietor. Phase four developing systems for everything. As my business grew, I realized the importance of having systems in place for every aspect of my work. There's a reason that McDee's and Starbucks and Apple are such massive companies systems. You get the same vanilla half-calf latte in Switzerland that you do in Toronto and the same Big Mac in Salt Lake City that you do in Manchester. From client acquisition and communication to project management and financial tracking, Developing efficient systems can save you time and reduce stress. Use tools and software to streamline your workflow, automate repetitive tasks, and keep your business organized and professional. I've built amazing systems and digital tools to help keep me organized and help me make more money, and I just put them out there for you to use. Phase five, 
outward reach. This is where we hunt for clients. Speaking of putting yourself out there, by the way, my entire career, I've had social anxiety and putting myself out there has always made me spiral into nobody cares, I'll never work again, my work is shit. It's always stopped me from doing outward reach. Putting myself out there and finding clients was always one of my biggest challenges. I had to conquer that fear and it came from taking a couple of workshops and doing a lot of soul searching. Now I know clearly how to do it and I've proved it to myself and others. With the right strategies, outward reach can become one of your strengths. It's a numbers game. So many super successful CEOs send hundreds of emails and DMs per day. Hundreds. Are you sending hundreds? I wasn't either. Networking attending industry events, leveraging social media, and using the online platforms that we have can help us reach potential clients. Research, research potential clients and contacts hundreds of them. They need to know us. They don't know us yet. They won't find our website. You need to be proactive in your outward reach. Don't wait for clients to come to you. Show them why they need your unique, niched, specialized skills and service. Phase six, integrating all these elements together. The final phase is about bringing these elements together into a cohesive functioning business. Your skills, your market knowledge, branding, value prop, systems, client outreach, all of this should work together in harmony. Continuously evaluate and adjust your strategies to make sure that they remain effective and aligned with your goals. Making photography your career is a journey that requires dedication, strategy, and continuously learning. I've walked this path, succeeded, failed, succeeded, failed again. This up and down struggle that freelancers often face is exhausting. I was tired of it. I worked for a year with my coaches, helping me fix my shit. And now I'm here to help you navigate yours. And if you're ready to take your photography career to the next step, you're in the right place. You might be tired of that nine to five grind and ready to transition from an underperforming photographer to a high demand working professional. It's my gift. It's what I obsess over. So maybe we should be working together. Last thing, I'm looking for the right type of committed shooters with the right attitude that are ready to take their work and their career to the next level. If that's you, make sure you check out my Pro Accelerator. I'm helping 50 photographers change their reality. Make sure that you are one of them. Link in the video description below.